today in this video we are going to discuss about the summarize text activity how do you use it and we are also going to build a small use case using this gen ai activity hi everyone welcome back to the channel this is the next video in the gen ai activity pack where we are trying to explore the generative ai activities with the help of small small use cases my name is mukesh kala i am a four times ui path most valuable professional certified solution architect and also a linkedin top voice feel free to send me a connection request and i would be happy to be part of your network also we have a small whatsapp community which we can scan the qr and join the whatsapp community as well okay so with that we will get started with today's session which would be on the summarized text right as uh, we are doing in this series we are going to understand the activity first we'll understand the background of the activity then we'll define a small use case and then we are actually going to build the same use case into your app studio and i would highly request you guys to please follow along the tutorial so that you understand the concepts clearly right and lastly in case you are new and haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel to get the next videos in the same playlist having said that let's get started this would be the approach which we are going to take in these activities first of all we are going to understand what exactly is the activity that would be a theoretical part then we are going to define a small use case which would be a pretty basic one and then that use case we are going to develop in a step by step manner by using the gen ai activities along with rpa right i have a request to you guys just please open your ui path studio and follow along to get a better understanding of these activities okay Okay so in case you are new and you do not have a background of what actually ui path generative activities can do please find the links of these videos in the description to understand the background okay so today we are going to discuss the activity which is called the summarize text let's talk a little bit about the activity as the name suggest this is again an activity in the ui path generative activity pack which will actually summarize the text using a suitable large language model okay so if we talk about the configuration it is only going to ask you the connection id right as we have last in the last setup we have done we have did it with the help of integration services that is the same connection id we are actually referring here the second input to the activity is something which is called text to summarize that what is the text you want to summarize and then we would have how do you want to have the summary in how many words 10 words 100 words 150 words and then you have an option which is summary format do you want the option to be in a paragraph format in a bulleted list or in a numbered list or chronological order in case you are following some kind of series or events right so all of these are the settings or the inputs to this activity okay so this is the activity is a pretty straightforward activity called summarize text and uh, before actually going to studio let's actually see a quick use case okay so the use case today which i have got is we all do meetings on zoom we all do meetings on teams or any other uh, application meeting application chrome or uh, sorry google meet or anything right now at the end of the meeting now most of the tool have something which can generate the transcript of what the people have saved uh, said during the meeting right so let's say this is a conversation our teams has recorded this conversation and now we want to summarize and we want to see what was the meeting all about right so today's use case is about automate the process of summarizing the long meeting so you had a meeting with an r you have a very long item there are a lot of people involved and uh, there are a lot of action items now before you go and you write it down you can just pass the complete transcript to this activity and ask this activity to generate and summarize it for you right simple use case all of us can relate what are the benefits time saving consistency scalability and accessibility right uh, the common benefits which we get as the automation with the help of this summarization activity you are also going to get all these benefits right and for this what i have got is i have got a notepad file let me quickly open that this is how it looks like so this is a meeting transcript 
which is about rp ui path project start of the meeting there is a business analyst who says good morning then they discuss something then there is a ba then there is a developer solution architect and all these people are doing something something right so you can go to internet you can go to chat gpt and ask it to generate a conversation or in case you already have a conversation with you you can actually utilize that right not only that as an input you can actually go and uh, use some kind of paragraph from internet you can use a document you can use uh, input of a book you can also use an article right anything can be input it should be in a text format right so for us the input today is this guy i hope you guys understand it can be an article it can be anything from the internet okay now let's try to automate this so i'll go back So I am back to my UI path studio and I'll go here and I'll create a new process, right? I'll call it as summarize meetings. That's what we wanted to do. And I say summarize the meetings and I create it. Okay. So it is going to add the dependencies and this is how you are going to see it right and now i'll simply go to the activities and i'll search for something which is called summarize text right summarize text is the activity which is available for me here in case this is not available make sure that you have applied the uh, this filter right which is available filter and the preview as well in case it is in preview right and then you drag and drop this activity here which is the summarize text and this is actually going to add the dependency which is required to work for this right and if i go to the project you would notice that the activity which it has added is uipart.integrationservices.activities right so in case you want to work on this activity you have to use uipart.integrationservices.activity okay so now it is giving you this same activity which is the same input output right now all i have to do is pass that document to this one right the input of that file okay so here i am going to use a log message activity okay so that we understand that the process has started good practice automation started and reading the input right here at this point i am going to read the text file right because i have already the input into the text file at this place you can actually go to internet scrape the data from a web page you can actually go and read the content of an email you can go and connect it to microsoft teams and extract that information so all that we require is a text input you can have a long list of contract you can have an article anything can be a input here that i'll leave it to you guys right and then it is asking me tell me where is the input file so i have stored it in my location so i'll click on this folder button i'll go to the location and this is the same meeting script right and i just say open and then i'll go to the properties and i will just hit ctrl plus k and i'll name it to input text right i hope you guys got the concept you can get it from anywhere you just need a uh, input okay so this is coming as input text now it's asking me where is the text which you want to summarize right so now i can just go here and i say that the text which i want to summarize is input text in case you already have the text in a variable you can directly pass the uh, uh, input text directly here right rather than installing to the variable you can directly do a control v into this wizard as well that will also work double quotes pass the complete text whichever you want to summarize okay now it's asking me what do you how many words you want to have in the summary i would like to keep it to the default settings in case you have a specific summary like 500 600 words feel free to go and put it here right now the important one is this guy which is the summary format in what format you want to have the summary 
and if I just expand it you would see that it is asking me do you want to have the summary in a bulleted list numbered list tabular format or chronological order right I prefer to have it in let's say bulleted list where I want to have the separate separate bullets and then you have one guy here which is called the manage properties which would have the same additional properties right so there as of now we have all this input in case you want the creativity also as an input you can click on that and I can say save and then into the properties you have a value which is called creativity whose value is set to zero and if you see here the creativity is simply a number between zero and two indicating the creativity factor for getting the output the higher value means the model will be more creative as of now I have given my own set of input so I don't want it to be more creative right so I am setting this value to zero right and that is it right that's it you want to do now if we talk about the output you would see here there are two outputs one is the output summary and one is the summarized text right so I just go here and I hit control plus K and I'll create a summary in a variable called summary and then I will create one more variable for you which is summarized text so so I created two variables one is going to give me the summarized text and other is going to give me the complete summary right uh, into the properties right we have the variables you can now actually use it to put it into uh, email you can put it into the chat or you can simply paste it into the output right so for this use case I am simply going to activities drag and drop something which is called log message activity go here say uh, info level log and I am just going to print the summary right let's save this go here and run the file right so I have provided an input which was in a text which is a meeting and then we are just asking UI part to summarize it right and if I go to the output now this is the output let's copy it and uh, let me put it into a notepad file maybe so that it's visible to all of us this is the output right so the meeting was focused on RPA project for the three main initiative semi structured handling process 500 invoice customer service chatbot manage FAQs escalate HR onboarding action items will include setting up the initial follow up meetings and this how cool is that right so without writing any much automation I was quickly able to summarize right now one more thing we have actually had one more variable in this which was the I guess uh, summarize text right so in the log message activity right after this let me go and quickly try to print what actually we are getting in the summarize text okay I'll save this go here and I say run the file and then let's go to the output okay I think in the summarized text what kind of variable that is ah summarized text is a variable type of uh, summarize create right so I think to get the data out of it we need to put a dot and then I need to put dot to string right let's try to see that because I'm also not sure right what actually it is trying to give into that otherwise we'll just go and we read the documentation let's see so output no I have still got the same output right let's go to the activity guys and let's say together I'll go to help right easiest way to read about the activities okay so summarize text is automatically it's a automatically generated output variable summary is the summary generated by the AI for the provided input text right so this is what we are interested in summarize text is automatically generated output variable but it does not say as much and I am not able to get anything so I will maybe if I get something on this information I'll put it in the comments right so as of now I am not sure what this is trying to do right however however whatever we want it intended to do is completed with this and we are able to generate the summary of the input right now you can actually use it to 
send as an email in case i want to send it as an email i can always use microsoft office 365 to send it as an email right all you have to do is just drag and drop it any email activity again i am using the integration services right whom do you want to send it i want to send it to my email id which is mail mukeshkala at the rate of gmail.com what should be the subject the subject should be let's say uh, minutes of meeting from rpa meeting right all of that is now your extra implementation i'm just going to show you how easy it is and in the body i just pass the summary variable maybe i'll just open here and i'll just write the summary variable where we have got it i'll save this i don't want to save it as draft just go here and i say run the file right this guy which i am using is again the integration services we have set up in the previous video in case you are new to integration services guys please do refer the complete playlist which is available uh, here right and then you will get the complete understanding of integration services okay and this has completed let me go to the my mailbox which is my mukesh kala account right and let's see how that mail looks like here it is right so i have received the same email on my mailbox also blah 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 i have not done the formatting guys that's why it is looking like this but i hope you guys understood the concept right so the concept is simple you simply have to drag and drop this activity which is called the summarized text provided the input summary how do you want it provide the output and you get output as expected right if i simply let me quickly lastly show you one more thing if i quickly go here and i change this input from bulleted list to now something called let's say paragraph right paragraph and now the same output would be generated now as a paragraph so let's say you are not interested in sending it as a bulleted list you can also send it as a paragraph right so this was our last output as a bulleted list now this time i have triggered it as a paragraph so this is my paragraph and two set of inputs from the same activity how cool is that right so we were successfully able to provide a meeting request convert it using a simple activity called summarize text and generate the output right i would like to take a pause and i would like you guys to think right what could be the use cases which we can build with this activity any idea which you have just drop down in the comments and i'll wait for your comments if you are successfully able to complete let me know in the comments right and with that i would wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation